Hello and welcome to the video for homework for fourth grade for Friday, April the 17th. This is going to cover our lesson that we were working on uh, today with parallel and perpendicular lines. So let's go ahead and take a look at our problems. Um, so number two, name a pair of lines that appear to be parallel. That would be this guy here and this guy here. So AB and CD, we want to make sure because they are lines that we put our arrows at either end of the line that goes above them to designate them as being lines instead of either rays or line segments. Um, so our next one, if I zoom in really close, I realize that it looks like it could have been a line, but or line segment, uh, but they actually wanted lines. So I'm going to make a quick adjustment here um, and I will go ahead and continue past here because both of these lines should do that. So what they wanted us to do was draw two parallel lines, one for WX and one for YZ, and that's what that should look like. Again, at smaller uh, distance, if I'm looking at my laptop instead of the TV screen that I use as my monitor, um, it's hard to tell the difference between the straight line and the arrow uh, sometimes. So we got that fixed. Uh, number six, name two streets that intersect but do not appear to be perpendicular. So our perpendicular ones would be Maple and Elm and Birch and Elm. And if this, if these two things were to continue and meet each other, those could also intersect, but we're not going to count those uh, for right now. So Oak and Elm potentially could intersect if those streets kept going, um, but for the moment we're going to say that they do not. So. Our two options would be oak and birch and oak and maple. So here's one of those intersections, and then here would be the other. Number eight, draw and label an example of two parallel lines that are perpendicular to a third line. I am not going to label it, but I will draw you an example of what this could look like. And if you have done number one on the back, this should look very similar to, uh, very familiar to you as one of your possible answers. So. <laughs> We could have, if we did uh, parallel lines, um, segments, then this could work. So I can go ahead and continue here and continue those out, looking like this. So I have two parallel lines, and they both um, run perpendicular to a third line. So using that idea that I started with here, what capital letters can we use um, to have perpendicular line segments? So one of them would be the letter F. Another one would be the letter E. H will also work, as will I, and T. And I believe if you did the X exactly perfectly to where it would be uh, perpendicular, it would probably be closer to a lowercase X because norm normally the uppercase X would be more like this, whereas the lowercase X could be considered um, to be close enough to actually being perpendicular. Um, so those would be the easiest ones to use for that. There might be another one. Um, but I'm not thinking of it off of the top of my head. Everything else has some kind of curve or angle to it, um, so we wouldn't have the 90 degree angle uh, where those two lines meet. Um, like for instance, here would potentially be a 90 degree angle, even though um, they don't have it marked because we're not worrying about that part. Uh, for number two, we are worrying about which two lines appear to be parallel. That would be FG and JH. And then we would want to draw, oh, cred, we do not want that part. We want just that. So we don't want to draw the actual thing for the line this time because we are talking about line segments. So hopefully that helps um, make sense for what the problems or the answers to the problems were. If you have any questions, please feel free to post in Google Classroom. You guys have done a wonderful job um, this week as far as letting me know if there's anything kind of off or if you have questions uh, or letting me know you have everything done. So kudos to you guys. Um, hope you have a wonderful weekend and enjoy the time that you have with family. And if you're able to do things uh, with friends, uh, making sure you're doing social distancing and so forth. But 
uh, staying safe, staying healthy. So again, have a wonderful weekend and I will see you all on Monday.